just did an interview with my guy, it's Rich. It's the God State Hip Hop Hour, man. Bad ain't music. We lit, we turned up at all times, man. Jerk. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Garden State Hip Hop Hour. We here at Sloppy Vinyl Studios. Wave change behind all these cameras. <laughs> it's your host, Rich Z. Today I'm here with a Jersey Club legend, DJ motherfucking Hood. What's up, my brother? How you doing? <laughs> I was letting you do the introduction. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then we got, um, we got JP, right? Yeah, JP. Yes, so, sir. So, you know what I'm saying? Today, he brought a guest along with him. Yeah, this is my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like, he 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 been in this this rap stuff a long time. So, I just want to, you know what I mean? Let y'all see what's going on today. But we're going to get into it. Word. So, obviously, like I said, you have one of the hugest catalogs of Jersey Club music. Right. You birthed, or you helped birth the booty bounce music genre. I birthed it. You birthed it. Okay, completely. We so got to clear got, that. I, right I just be away. careful with my words sometimes and I let the artist clarify. No, no. Nah, I birthed it. Well, I've had help along the way with people help, you know, forward the, the, the genre, but I birthed that. Yeah. That's, it's tattered on me. King of BBM. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you got an album, King of BBM, yeah. 2019. I'm the king. <laughs> so, so what is it about, you know, Jersey Club? Like, what does it mean to you? Why do you think the culture just, lo- like, you know what I'm saying, fell in love with it? Um... Just Jersey Club overall, you talking yeah. about my, my style, booty bounce Your style, music. Jersey Club, you know uh, saying? Because you're part of all of that, you know what I'm saying? I think people love it because, uh, it's di- well, for one, we all know it's a different feel. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's not uh, what we normally used to hearing. Like, see, us in Nor, we already was hip to it since the 90s. Like, we was already hip to Jersey Club, you know? And uh, we're going to get into how it started, how where it came from, and every generation, because now we're going to speak on it for real. You yeah, know what I'm um, but I, I think people gravitate to it because, uh, for one, the beat, the bass, the the way that we chop things up and stuff to to to, to coordinate around the bass lines and stuff. I don't think people realize how important that is, like how you how you coordinate your, your you know your patterns and stuff. So I think that stuff like sinks in here, and it's just like when you hear it, you can't deny not to like like you can't not like it. Like you can not like Jersey Club, but you come on. It's, we know it's a what's party, up. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's dancing. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so how did you get into it? Like, how did you... Because you start off just rapping at first, right? Yeah. See, you know, he do. He know. He know. <laughs> he do his research, yeah. Um, so I started off just rapping. You know, I was rapping at, like... Uh, actually, let's go a step, you know, step back before that. Um, I was in a choir when I was a kid. So music was already there. My great-grandmother, she... um. Well, my great great grandmother had me in the choir when I was a kid, so I was already in the music. You get what I'm saying? Then when she passed away, I stopped doing music, and somehow I found my way back into it. One of one of my friends, close friends, he brought me back into it. Like you get what I'm saying? Like uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the program FL Studio. Yeah, yeah, you know, of course. Well, at it's the like time, everyone, it was right? just called. Well, everybody should be, <laughs> but it was just, we was all hacking it. Right, it, exactly. But it was called. Uh, Fruity Loops at yep, the time. Yep. It's still Fruity Loops, but it's now it's called FL Studio. Officially, but FL, it was just yep. Fruity Loops. And he told me one day, like, yo, you got to try this program out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can make beats on it. I'm like, oh, I'm not looking to do that. You know what I mean? He like, nah, I'm telling you, just try it out. Um, by the way, this is my boy, Ha. His name, his name was DJ Ha at the time. You know what I'm saying? It's one of our best friends. Uh, I go to his house. I try it out. And then I got hooked. So I went back home. I downloaded it. And I was just like, from there, I just kept just messing with it and messing with it. And I got good with it. And I just was like, all right, I'm about to start producing stuff now. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't making the best beats or the best Jersey Club stuff at first. But as time went along, I started kicking up with it and then it just took off. When did you know it was for you, though? Like, at which moment did you feel like, okay, Jersey Club is like my lane. The booty bounce music is my lane. Um, I can honestly say when I... When I started hearing people, like, when I was in, in high school and I started hearing people, like, or I would hear, hear people in the hood come to me and be like, yo, I, I heard such and such, like, when we had chirps and stuff, we used to put the ringtones. And when I was in high school and I would hear people have it on the ringtones on the chirp, I was like, oh, all right, it's, it's getting serious. Or I hear somebody driving by and they playing my club music. I'm like, yo, that was my song. I just made that in the living room. Uh, you know, two, three days ago, like, you know what I'm saying? So once I seen that, I was like, oh, right, yeah, there's some hope in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me just keep going to see where it go. Yeah, and I, I can't even front, like, you're probably one of the first people, like, like, let's be clear, like, I'm not the biggest Jersey Club person, right. 
around 2010, right? It was when you said you jumped into it, 2010, 11, mm-hmm. or earlier? Before that. Before that. But that's what I'm saying. Well, around yeah. that whole period of time, I lived in Virginia. Yeah, I, I lived in Texas, so I wasn't really... And See, then I came back a little older, and I feel like Jersey Club isn't always right. where I'm at. But anyway, so this girl was like, she ran me through like a whole history lesson of DJ J Hood. She's like, this song, this song, this song. <laughs> she was out the car. She's like, this is the dance. Like, rock your hips and like, you're so, yeah. so, so it was just like, I was like, oh shit, okay. Like, I yeah. knew I knew who you were. I'm familiar with you. Right. Like, I've had you on playlists. You know, I fucked with you. But like, that wasn't necessarily like, you know, the right. music like that I was really into like that. Right, right, but right. But I was like, oh shit, like, just like, this okay, lit. nah, this yeah, is that motherfucker this right here. Right. Like, this is the first, like, she ran me through a whole history lesson. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's lit. Yeah, yeah she's from Newark, so I, like your impact on the area, and she was explaining like the impact and just being a kid and just listening to your music, and they'd all be right. dancing and stuff like that. So right, I mean, yeah, uh, I got into it probably like uh, two thousand and whew, two, like officially, like I made my first Jersey Cub hit in like '08, mm. which was uh, apologized. Then it was heartbroken. It was '09. So I was in it though since like oh six, oh five. Like Damn. something like that. Between that time, oh seven, probably the latest. I mean the early it could be it's around that time though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I at the time I was just listening to like DJ Tamil CDs mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So DJ Tamil, Tim Dollar. They had the CDs downtown Newark. Like and they it used to have like sometimes a, a a CD that would have seventy two club tracks on it, but it would be like short previews of each mm-hmm. track. And I would just listen to them. I'd be in the room dancing, turning up. And then I'm like, damn, I'm making club music now. Now I'm looking now. I'm like one of the the, the gods of it. Yeah, like, like I said, crazy. Like, this girl, like, I was like, oh, she's like, I was like, what is going on here? Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, we got to watch this and watch yeah. this. I'm like, we got to get out the car. Like, we got to go eat. Like, yeah, yeah. So just like that impact, I thought it was really dope. Like, cause you don't always run into, you find people who, like, people like, I like their music. Or mm-hmm. there's a couple of songs, but, like, she was talking about it in a way. And I'm assuming she's talking about it, then her friends probably feel similar. Is like you actually had like an impact on like their childhood right. and growing up and just that whole culture yeah. out of Newark. And yeah. I guess the whole area around there. Yeah. Uh it started in Newark and then when I seen myself like getting booked to go out to South Jersey, Pennsylvania, then Miami, mm-hmm. DC, LA, like I'm like, oh, like what's going on? Like it's yeah. getting real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just a kid from the trenches. A kid from the trenches that was making music in the corner of his bedroom and people booking me to come play in front of thousands of people. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like sometimes I still be, it feel fake. Yeah. You know, like when I look you, were, you were at uh, 106 in Park, DJ. That, even that. That was <laughs> So it's like you said, you came from the trenches, you came from here to yeah. like, and at that time, 106 in Park is the biggest I had music the, video show. I had the gels turned up when I was on 106 in Park. Like, if you go to, like, well, I ain't going to say go to jail, but, like, everybody in jail would tell you, like, that's a memorable moment. Like, people had, like, almost real, life fist fights in jails over that moment. I'm going to tell you why. Because arguing over if a nigga really knew me or not. Like, mm. like yo, that's my man's right there. Man, you don't know him. Like, word <laughs> up, real. Watching on TV. Like, like, you outside. Yeah. Just DJing, like, doing like, your thing. Up. Like, but it's like, everybody know him from the, from the trenches. So it's like... Damn, this boy, he really on. T- like, I'm just, even me, like, just looking at it, I'm like, yo, I used to be watching this show every every day, and I'm one of the DJs up here now. Like, how, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how's this happening? You know, like, yeah. how's this happening? Like, I just used to, I don't, I don't know. It'd be crazy. Sometimes I just don't be understanding. And I, I like to be that way, though. Because it keep me grounded, keep me humble. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's why I always tell people, too, you don't got to tell me to be humble because I'm going to always remain humble. No matter how far I get or how big my name become, I'm going to always remain humble because it's like I'm still, I'm going to always be excited with the things that happen in my career or that I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it's like you have no, if you, if you really a real one, you're going to be humble about that. Like you're going to be humble because with being humble it comes with being thankful. You get what I'm saying? So oh, that's dope that you're still able to remain despite all the successes yeah, and different nah, things for you sure. got going on. I'm still in the hood like everybody else. Even if I wasn't though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like I'm still in a position to where I can make a lot of money. Yeah. You facts. know what I mean? So I could be acting bougie. I could be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Like just off the popularity, the name alone. Like yeah. even like what's going on right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not, I'm, I'm still humble. I'm just being selective on 
who I'm around, who I talk to, because I just can't trust people like yeah, that. Yeah, but that, that, I mean? just, that just comes with the success and growing, just yeah. growing as people. Yeah, even yeah. if we ain't even talking about music, yeah. even just as we grow as adults and grow as people, we have, we start realizing what situations are good for us or not. Right, it's right, not about right, cutting right. people off, it's just about like, we still gotta make sure we good, right, you know? Right. Like, we're growing, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, but uh, so you said you made Heartbroken in two thousand nine. Two thousand original. So Matter of fact, let's do the let's do the. Um, I was gonna say you just did the remix. Yeah, hold on. Or not the remix, but uh. The, well, no. It's, uh, well, would you would you call it a remix or just like an updated version? Heartbroken I would call it a. Uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's just a new shit. So you brought yeah. it back. Hold on, I'm gonna look right now. I'll tell you right now because yeah. it's up here. It was made. Wait, it said it was uploaded eleven years ago. That's two thousand nine. Yeah, eleven years ago. 2009. I remember, yeah, it was 09. It was 09. 09 was like that year where I started to really catch, like, you know, catch that, catch that, uh, that wave. Mm. It was coming in. I was like, oh man, like that heartbroken. Oh, so that was the year you felt like it really just started the momentum? Yeah, 09. 09. But my breakout year was, what was that, 2011, cuz? Or 2012? Well, hands on your hips. Let me see. Now I gotta look again. 2011, right? Did you make that dance? I think it was. Uh, I put the, all right, so what I did was, I didn't make the, um, all right, so nine years ago, that was 20, what, what, what? 2011, no, 2012-11-ish, uh, we're we, in the beginning of 2021. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like, hands on your head, like, I feel like that happened, like, it was like. 2011. Yeah. May 2nd, 2011. So the anniversary coming up. So, uh, I didn't make the, the rock your hip dance specifically, but I made, like, if you look at the video, like we have a behind the scenes that's on YouTube too, like of uh, me directing them how like the the uh the line dance of it, like you know the format of how we was doing the dances, how I lined everybody up, and I did that i co- i put the choreography okay. together with it, but I didn't make the rocket hip dance specifically that's dope, and like I said, I run it back, so you got heartbroken twenty twenty mm-hmm. it's got uh, Spotify is like almost three hundred thousand plays already we're gonna look right so now. how did you get, um, how, gonna, how did Mike numbers... zombie end up on the song uh well, Mike. Actually, well, I'm gonna let you tell him what that is. Four hundred and forty thousand two hundred and fifty four streams, seven point six k just today. Just today, or yesterday? That was yesterday. The number, the top city is you won't believe what's the top city, Chicago. Wow. <laughs> and I just always like I'm in tune with Chicago so hard, but uh, yeah. And uh, wait, what was the last question you asked? Me? I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh-huh. you got Mike Zombie on it. So how did you two end up? I guess recreate or oh. updating the song. Well, what happened was he was making the beat already over, mm. and he tagged me on Instagram, and he was like, um, he was like, "Yo, I did a remake to your beat. Um, I, I wanted you to check it out." Da-da-da. I'm like, "All right, cool." I listen. I'm like, "Yo, this hard." He's like, "Yo, good looks, bro." They hit me back again like a day or two later. Was like, "Yo, would you put a um a verse on?" I'm like, "Yeah, nah, no problem." So I ended up doing the verse and the hook. The hook just came along. I was just how I was feeling. I just sung it. Boom. And then I sent it. I sent it back to him, and he sent. He mastered it. He added his verse, mastered it, sent it back to me. And then I just sent it out to Wala, a few DJs, and they just went crazy with yeah, it. Yeah, that's just spinning everywhere right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you on Hot 97 daily. Every day. You got enough spinning it. Enough, like it loves that record. Shout out to DJ Enough too, man. He 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 a real one. He good, good people. Shout out to Wala. Shout out to Taj. Shout out to Cast One. They, you know, shout out to Hollywood, shout out to all of them. They really like putting it in for me on that song. Or I mean, and you perf- you just performed at DJ Nub's birthday yeah, party. That was and amazing. you did a, a Hot ninety seven heavy hitters performance. You had the big G- DJ J hood across right, the back across of the, the wall. Right across the back. I was like, whoa. Uh, what what exactly was that? Cause I read the caption like it just said a performance. Is that um, something that's coming out or something? Yeah. I, I, or can you say it? Or if yeah, you yeah. I mean, well, enough. He got like this this thing. That's coming. It's called Outside the Box. Um, you know, where, you know, the interviews and stuff like that and with the performance. So it's going to be like his own, own own thing, like how Flex do. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be fire, though. Like, you know, the artists get to perform that whatever record is popping type shit. Like, yeah. So that yeah. shit lit, though. That shit was like, I saw the big J hood across the back. Word this is shit wrong. different. I'm going to talk to the mic, man. I got you. I feel like the way he is now, the way he started, you feel me, just actually being there, like you had to be there to see where he started to he is now. And it's like, it amazes, you know, especially me and a lot of people. And it's, you know, it kind of like, you know, influenced a lot of people to actually, you know, 
push hard to get their music out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really touched a lot of people with his work ethic and how consistent that he is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's when, you know, when he's talking about his humbleness, that's where that comes into play. Because you got a lot of people out here that actually, you know, become something. Right. And then they just start, you know, acting a certain way. Not saying they don't have their reasons. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you can't really treat everybody and kind of, like, push everybody away like that because that's how, you know, you got some big-time industry people that kind of mess up with artists mm -hmm. and they end up getting big and they be like, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's a fact. I'm telling you, though, but as far as, like, where he is now, like, I'm proud of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like he really worked hard to where he is. Like, big placements, performances, and everything. Even when you was on um, Love & Hip Hop when he dropped your track. Oh, yeah, too, on like, that, too, yeah. A lot of milestones he pushed and went towards. Right. Because, like, it's a lot more that he's pushing. And then I don't think a lot of people understand that I'm doing that, like, on my own. Like, I don't got yeah. no management team, no nothing. Like, I'm doing all that. I'm making them moves on my own. Like, these things is, like... Is, I'm push. I'm doing it by myself. So. Off the muscle, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of, like, you know what I'm saying, remaining humble and still just doing what you got to do, you opened up a music production school, right? Or is it still well, something you're working I, on? We, that's something I'm still working on because, you know, I, I still, I had people who had the donations and stuff, too. Missy Elliott? Yeah, even Missy. Um, we look, we, we need another location. Now, the location that I had, I had everything to go in effect, but something happened, you know what I mean? So... We need another location now. Like, I need something that's that's wide enough for kids to come and, you know what I mean, have enough space. And then plus the COVID thing going on right now. So that kind of yeah. hit at the same time, too. So, But it's something you got in the works. It's work, definitely so. happening. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, no, it's for sure. It's gonna be, are you planning to keep it right in Newark or just yeah, in the general they area? Gotta, yeah, we keep it in the city. And then hopefully it grows bigger. And then, you know, we could it could be something, a real worldwide foundation. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... That's why I said I just at this point I didn't even get the exact amount of donations I needed, but I got the piece of equipment that I needed for it though, which is the Apollo Twin. We got like four or five interfaces already now. Now we got work on the laptops and yeah, it's something that takes time, you know. It's something you got to put that like the working, just like with the music. Yeah, it's just something that over time, as long as you keep going, yeah, you got to land it. And speaking of Missy again, like I saw a tweet of yours that you um you give her credit for helping develop you as an artist. Of course. So how did that first contact come with her? Um, how that relationship work out? Does it still exist? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I could text her right now. She texts me right back. Like she never not. She always send me encouragement, like words of encouragement. Um, you know, we got a strong, we got a strong relationship. Like I, I could when I go wherever she, I, I, I'm not gonna say where she live at, but when I do pop out or wherever she at, she'll send an invite. I could come to a crib. Uh, if she had a studio session, she allowed me to come to a studio session. Anything like we got a tight relationship. Like I rock with Missy. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I've known her for about whew, seven, eight years now too. So we 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 locked in, locked in. Word. She's still kind of like if she got an opportunity that she feel like I could do, she put it on the table for me, huh? huh see if you could do this, boom. You know what I mean, anything to try to get give me some money in my pocket, anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and what have you been able to learn from her? I learned a lot. Like I learned. uh how to do hooks really good, uh, how to stay consistent, uh, how to be different, not listen to nobody, do what you feel should work for you. Um, just how to be a great leader overall, you know what I mean? To, to lead others to be good leaders, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, um, production, how to like format songs the right way. Yeah. Mixing, mastering, she knows a lot. Like, you know That's what I mean? fire. Like, how many people in Jersey get to say, "I sat there, or I sit there, or right. I can text right now, Missy Word is Elliot. born. Yeah, word is born. That's a blessing. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's another person I used to watch when I was a kid, and it's like I look up now. I'm like, damn. I, I will go. I'm look. I'm like, yo, how I'm in her career. I'm in a, I'm in a mansion. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, has I'm, she been a person that like? Has shocked has shocked you the most that you've been around her? Like, of everyone you've been around in the industry, is Missy Elliott, would you put her at the top? As far as what? Like, you just being like, oh, wow, I'm around this person. Um, let me see. Mm, I would say, I would say between her and Fetty. Mm. Yeah, definitely. That I think, I think when I met Missy, it already felt like she was, like, family already. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like I was I was starstruck in a way, like you know what I'm saying. But I, in a way, I wasn't. It was just like I got comfortable with her real fast. But with Wop, it was kind of like he more close in age to me, and like it's like you know what I mean. Like I look up to him, 
when it come to the music shit. And he knows that too. You know what I mean? Like, and, and he's from right here. Huh? And he's from your Jersey. Yeah, he, right. He's from Jersey. Uh, he loves my club music. You know what I'm saying? So when that happened, it was more so like, you know, when I spoke to him, I'm like, this ain't going to happen. This ain't going to happen. And then when it happened, it was just like, oh, shit. Like, damn, I'm really about to, I just did two songs with Fetty. I'm about to do a video. It was just like, damn. Then when I was around him more other times, I was like, oh, damn, he rock with me. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just like, even to this day, like, you know, sometimes link up with him in the lab. <laughs> it's just like the chemistry be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? We'll have a three-hour conversation. We talk. He just give you a lot of good knowledge and stuff. So, yeah, I could definitely say, like, Fetty more so, yeah. That's out of right. everybody, Fetty, definitely, yeah. And what's crazy is there's people out there right now, like, damn, I just did a song with Jay Hood, or I'm right. around Yeah, Jay they Hood. saying like, the same thing, yeah. Like, so and it's I, always just paying homage. It's never yeah. be like, I never ask that question and be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're no, 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 you're just paying homage. Like, I pay my homage to WAP all the time, man. Like, even in person to him, he'll tell you that. Like, yo, yeah, like, you know what I mean, bro, bro, you know what I mean? I, I definitely always do. Like, even if you see his comments, all of that, I always make sure I, I encourage him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, bro, he a real one. I could definitely say that. He done some things that people don't understand. He helped me with, like, beyond the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I rock with Wop 100%. Like, he, I can't say nothing bad about him, man. Nah, that's dope. I, I, anyone who I've spoken to about him all say, like, he might, he's hard to get in contact with. He's, but, like, once you're yeah. with him or once you're around him, like, yeah. you want to, like, he's I just, swear. like, a dope. Like, I he's swear. Really... He's very hard to get in contact with. But when you next to him... Anything you need, he gonna you gonna be like, oh, all right. You gonna understand that the like, I right. I understand he hard to get in contact with, but like, I get it though. Like, I get why. And then you be like, all right. When you get around him, you be yeah. like, all right. I see what's up. I see what's going on. So he definitely a, a very generous person, but he ain't gonna let you get over on him either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he's definitely a good person. Like, can't say nothing bad about him. I I don't I don't know. I don't know what reason somebody would have to say something yeah, bad. Yeah, and I always him. see him smiling in pictures. Always. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, like for real. Like, you look a lot of like people's pictures. Like, even myself, I don't really smile yeah. in pictures. But I be seeing him like with a big old. Yeah, like... he be, he's happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, he mad, he mad though. Yeah. Don't get him mad. You know what I mean? He, he, he get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, so like for a person, like, like you said, you know the whole history of Jersey Club, you've been a part of her so long. And then, like, to see a year like 2020 where you got someone like Cookie Kawhi bringing it even further, you see a place like TikTok that almost seems like it's built for Jersey Club because right. all they're doing on there is dances and yeah. challenges like that. Yeah. So what do you think about the progress of Jersey Club and where you see it, see it going? Um, I think Jersey Club has definitely made a big progress. Uh, I think, uh, tick, like you said, TikTok is probably the, the platform for Jersey Club to really expand beyond um, from when... Like when SoundCloud first hit, like when SoundCloud first hit, it's like SoundCloud on steroids, but just with a visual. You get what I'm saying? Like it's just a visual to it, so it's it's easy for people to get a uh, song popular on there if if you're doing Jersey Club. Yeah, because like you said, SoundCloud is just a sound, but to really feel that Jersey Club effect is like the dancing, right. it's like all that, and like TikTok. I think it's definitely going to a good place. You know what I mean? Long as uh. As long as we be there to help guide it, you know what I mean, in the right direction, because it could drift off sometimes, or it might go in a direction where we don't necessarily agree with sometimes, but it's still Jersey Club. Yeah, it's funny you said Chicago is in one city, because I think, like, a couple weeks ago, I saw, like, uh, Chance the Rapper retweet or tweet Cookie, like, yeah. yo, Jersey Club. Yeah. So it's definitely, you know, yeah, making its way out Cookie. there. Yeah, she doing her thing, man, you know. She'll tell you about me, she know. I was, I was the first person to put her in that booth. Oh, to, really? Oh, you didn't know that? No, nah, I mean, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, search her, search her. Do a lot um, of people know that? Am I the only one? Yeah, like, she put it in her, in, in her um, article. Oh, like, okay. You know that I was the first person that... She came to... How she got into Jersey Club was she came to record a song with me mm -hmm. and my boy Joker. And when she was recording, I was just sitting there and I was like, yo, you ever thought about doing Jersey Club? And she was like, nah, I don't... Mm -mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm like, I'm telling you, you know, just try it out. Your voice is dope for it. She was like, all right. And she tried it out. We did a song together. And from there, she kept rocking. Then I kept encouraging her. I told her, you know what I mean? Like, before she blew up, maybe like three three to six months before she blew up, I went to a house party she had. 
And she just wasn't like, you know, she was just like kind of in a down mood type shit. And I'm like, yo, Cookie, don't worry. Like, keep grinding. You're going to blow up. Like, it's going to happen real soon. And a couple months down the line, she caught the hit. That shit, that song created TikTok right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just like, it's, it's dope just to see how far it's come. Like, yeah. you know, where it's going and just being like a part of like the whole thing, especially with you. And um, look at that, I almost lost my thought. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> but uh, so for someone like you, right? So your songs, I see they keep getting uploaded like every other year. People use your old songs and they still get hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Do you, do you, have you seen the opportunity to take those older songs onto TikTok and maybe bring more life to them? Or? Yeah, that's why I've been uploading like my old, you know what I mean? My old songs and stuff like that. So hopefully one of them, I feel like one of them going to catch a, you know what I mean? Catch a, a viral hit. So, you know, we, we, we definitely are. Uh, we definitely working on that right now, but I feel like it's definitely one of them going to definitely catch that wave um, in between. Um, but I've definitely been uploading all my old club music, you know what I mean? Yeah, because like, it's, it's a, a perfect out. place. Because like, I see it heartbroken, re-uploaded two years ago, and it's still getting three, 400,000 mm -hmm. views on a new channel. Mm -hmm. The classics, like honestly, yeah. they're really classic. Yeah. You cannot mention Jersey Club without mentioning yeah. heartbroken. You feel me? Rock my hips. Yeah. Anything that he touched, in that time and era, classic. Yeah, yeah, you could put that Rock My Hips up there again. Classic. Yeah. And create the Rock My Hips challenge and yeah. just have them you choreographed yeah. the dance. Classic. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, bro. Uh, so you were saying one of your influences I read was, you know, Meek Mill. Yeah, definitely. So, like, what do you think about Meek Mill on the internet? Because, yo, he'd be, t like, he be, they'd be coming for him at all times. I mean, I think he, personally, like, I think he need to, like, I think he need like a PR or something. Like I think he needs somebody to control his stuff, like or filter his stuff because me, you know, he he can be a great leader. Like you get what I'm saying? Like what? Like he he do what I used to do. Like I used to do the same thing. Like I used to be like you know, cause I had an anger issue. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I feel like he got an anger issue. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, he's just very vocal. I think he's just very vocal, and he, but he's vocal into real life. Like it's like. But social media is not real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you got a bunch of people in there who's betraying not them, themselves a majority of the time, 95% of the time, 99% of the time. So why do you even spend your, waste your breath to go up there and do the things you do? And you know it's going to go, you know it's going to be all over. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they be looking forward to him doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they know he's going to say something nine times out of ten. So, is there a J Hood meat collab coming? Nah, I, I wish. You know what I mean? <laughs> if it was, then trust me, y'all would know by now because I would have definitely threw that in the air. <laughs> but, I, but I did see you with my man J.I. Prince in New York. Yeah. So, and your caption said something coming along the way. Right. Was that you just putting a caption? Is nah, there you and J.I. music coming? Nah, he, um, so like I said, he's working on something right now. When I see him in the car, we caught, we, you know what I mean? We caught up with each other. And he was saying he needs some stuff. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not going to say what it is, but he said he he, he he took my number down. He texted me, gave me his number, boom, all right. So I told him I'm going to send him what I'm going to send him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And he got, a, he got some, he, a big project he's working on right now. So, yeah, we got something coming. Yeah, that album. I'm going to make it happen. Coming, and yeah. then I told him, like, yo, I want the link and shit. He's like, yeah, bro, anytime. Like, you know what I mean? We're going to make that happen, too, like in the studio type shit. So I know he busy, though, you know what I mean? So in due time, you know, everything is a How time. you know him, though? Like, how was that? Um, I know him through True Life Films. Like I said, one of my cameramen, uh, he used to manage him, and he brought him He brought him to me before, like, when he was, like, when he had braces, he had the hair with the glasses. He was like, yo, yeah, I got this young kid from Brooklyn. He's pretty dope. Like, he was on the, um, what was that show called? Uh, I know. The, the rap, rap game? The rap game, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the rap game, I think, and... I heard him and I heard it. Uh, what was the name of the song? I forgot. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna send it to you later. But I promoted that for him, and then me and him just we we was talking a lot through the DM. He sent me a record. I just didn't get to it in time one day. Uh, this was like when the Fetty stuff was going on, so we ain't get to you know resurface. And then he blew up, and then you know we spoke a little bit. Like I joined his live. He got thousands of people, and I'd be like, Yo, what up, Jay? I'd be like, What's up, Jay? And that would be it. But we ain't never like resurface, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke a lot about like your influence on Jersey, but you clearly have a music. I mean, inf impact on music. Period. You period, had yeah. 
the thing with the Drake and yeah. the Khaled to the Mac song. Yeah. Um, recently with the Cardi B, yeah. Megan Stallion and WAP. And for the most part, you've just handled the situation like you'll say your piece and just move on with it. Yeah. I don't be having time. I don't even want to get into the negative stuff because it's like, it's, word, it's pointless. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, it's pointless. So I just be trying to be quiet the majority of the time. You know, silence is golden. So, you know, sometimes I say I speak on certain things when I feel I should, but a lot of times silence is golden. Just be quiet and keep it moving because people don't care what you're going through anyway. Yeah. You know? But you still got like, well, you did it though. Like defend, like you're saying stand up and the creditors, yeah. you know, the creators still need to get that credit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to you gotta stand up for yourself though. You know what I mean? And, and you did an interview with... um. Like an internet radio, internet radio interview. Yeah, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. So they were the the, the barbs and Nikki's barbs were coming for you, yeah. right? Yeah. No, it was um <laughs> no, it was the Wait. it was Cardi B. Oh, Cardi, yeah, because yeah. the wild because you mm -hmm. so you were brought on there because the girl wanted to speak to you about yeah, she, the issue you had, not the issue, but like you were presenting the facts about right how they took your loop or you're know, saying you're right. part of the song and used it in WAP. Right. I just uh. No, it wasn't even the loop, because that's not my... Or the chop, the chop, right? No, people had the whole thing confused. What I was saying was, because the, the um, what's the, uh, what, what's, how does the sample go in there? Um, holes in this house? Yeah, that, yeah. That's not my, you know what I'm saying? That's some... Yeah, no, that's a classic shit. song, yeah. yeah. It was your it chops, It was the right? way that they put this song together. It was just like, damn, this sound like exactly how I did it, you know what I'm saying? I never said they stole it or nothing, though. People didn't understand it. I just said it sounded like how I did it. The, pe the internet blew it up like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just, that, even when you, if you go back to the interview, I, I said that, too. I was like, I didn't say they stole it. I said it sounded like what I did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. You know how the internet is, though. Huh? You know yeah, how yeah, the internet they gonna twist, they going to twist it. They're going to twist your words. They're going to make you sound crazy. So I was just like, all right, whatever. I'm just let it just boil over. And then it brought a lot of followers to my page, so I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> did that help put more attention on you from, like, labels or more record executives? No, nah, not really. If it did, I wouldn't know. You know yeah. I mean? Like, they, they, they're not going to say nothing. They're just going to sit there and watch, and then they'll be like, all right. And they're going to strike when I iron hot. They're not going to tell you, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, but it's just an interesting situation because it's like, how did they find it? Because it's just it could be just too convenient that, you know what I'm saying? You influenced it. I mean, I'll be sending my stuff out and stuff, too. And then I had, like, videos online. Like, a lot of times, I'll be previewing my music online. And these producers be checking in on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they trust me. You, you'd be surprised who watch your, your page. It's like a word of mouth thing. Like, honestly, like, if somebody sees something, it's not that hard to be like, hey, yo, did you see? You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's not that hard for somebody to implement a sound. You know right. What I mean? like, mm -hmm. Music right. is always going to be recycled. It's always going to be universal. You know what I'm saying? You know? Right. But I get why people, you know, have a controversy conflict. Why, you know, they feel like, okay, cool, it sounds similar to something that I did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you know? Right. You got to put it out there sometimes. Some people not slick. They'll know what's up. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to really tell you because it's like, yeah. man, like, come on. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know. Or, and with all these Jersey club producers out here and all the ones you come up with, all the DJs, like, what makes you, what do you think makes you different? What made you, like, stand out? Like, um, because I didn't, I just did what I felt. I didn't do what, I, I didn't do what people told me to do. I did what I wanted to do. And then the people just, you know, once the ladies gravitated to it, it was just like, the men, when, whatever the ladies gravitate to, the men gonna follow behind, no matter what. So when they, when they, when they gravitated to it, it didn't even matter. I didn't even care. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. I'm not doing because you gotta understand with Jersey Club, it started off with the whole Baltimore style. And I came in with a whole different a monster. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> why wouldn't it stand out with something they never heard before? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, hey, I mean, it's just a blessing to be able to create that path, man. Like, I'm, 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 I'm happy about that. Word. And current day, you're almost at a hundred thousand monthly listeners on Spotify, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, just even the consistency. You said 2006. Well, you said your breakout year was 2010 or 11, right? 11. 11. So, you're yeah. talking about nine, like, well, almost 10 years, right? We're beginning to Running strong. Running strong. You got to understand, like, and I always catch a hit throughout these years. Like, it's like, I always, for me to be going as long as I have, I, I deserve nothing but the flowers that I'm getting right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
I've been working hard a long time. Usually people, especially in Jersey Cub too, they might just catch one good Cub mm-hmm. song and that's it. Like, it'll be over. Like, you know what I mean? You'll, you'll probably have like two, three follow-up joints and people listening just because you just had that, that, that joint rocking. But then you don't hear about them no more. Like, it's like, you've been hearing about me the entire time you know about Jersey Cub. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whether it was old or new. And so, it's a fact, though. By the way, y'all, I'm ducking at this table because we can't show y'all the, uh, <laughs> what we sipping out of. And it ain't lean. Yeah. I, it's it's, 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 it's uh, alcohol it's beverage, a, but we can't show it on camera because they not sponsoring us. Is, is this the official drink of Jersey Club music? Yeah, right here. That Jersey you know juice. What I'm saying? That J-Hood juice. <laughs> this ain't for kids. <laughs> No, I would have, if I had a uh, clear cup though, I would have just sipped it out of there, but I ain't gonna do that on camera. Nah, I feel you. Matter of fact, let me, let me slide back real quick. Yeah, <laughs> but so we were talking, right? So you got a song in the cut with probably one of the bigger artists right now coming out of Jersey, slash Boston, whatever. Um, Coil Ray, right? Right. Is this ever gonna see the streets? Is it a Jersey Club song? Is it an um, old song? I mean, if she let me drop it, I'll just drop it. If she don't let me drop it, I'll drop it. But if not, you know, but I don't know. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to hit her up again or, or hit her manager and be like, yo, do you mind if I just drop that club joint? You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it is a Jersey Club song. Mm-hmm. Damn. I remixed one of her songs. It was like, that joint hard, too. Like, that joint hard. Which I'm going to show it to you. Huh? What song? Uh, Messy. Oh, Messy? Yeah. Don't worry. I love that Messy song. <laughs> but, um... I doubt if she's going to drop it because it's like time has passed. She's made a million songs since then, so she might as well just let me do it. Yeah, but I mean, Jersey, Jersey Club helps a lot of things too, right? Because there, si- there was a situation with, um, obviously, you know, Unicorn. Um, so when he dropped, him and DJ Fade did the Jersey Club remix, the Big Drip. Right. And I interviewed him. He was telling me, yeah, they were calling me like, yo, who are you? Why are you mixing our song? Because Oh, yeah? Because they had the remix. Of, this is what he told me. I don't know this for 100 No, back. I believe him. No, not the, the, that, that they had the Jersey Club version of Big Drip on the radio first. <laughs> so, again, I'm not 100% sure that's true. I'm just relaying the story from uh, Kirk told me. I don't think but anyway, so they called it. That. But then, um, but in my head, and most people, it makes sense because now a song, like a Pop Smoke song, when you make it, DJ, I mean, um, when you make a Jersey Club song, you have an audience that's going to listen to it now that might not listen to that type of right. music before. Right, yeah. Jersey yeah. Club helps open another audience yeah, yeah, to these song. kids because yeah. you're going to have the white kids dancing to it. You're going to have black kids. You're going to you're gonna open up to a whole different market who might not listen to a drill yeah. or a real gangster yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I've done uh, songs to where people didn't even know what a song was. And, like, if you think about it, a majority of the club songs that I did are songs that nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Like, I flip them and I make them hot, and then boom. Now niggas will listen to the regular song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it makes sense. It's like, it's not only that, not only you guys putting your own time and effort into it, because I don't believe, and I could be wrong, like, you can't necessarily get royalties or money, money off the new song, can you? Because it's so, it's like when you go to put it on YouTube or put it somewhere, like they already copyrighted it. Sometimes I'm not exactly sure how like, when the, that flip. Works. I mean, sometimes you could you could slide through and get it off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, really, you could slide through and get it off. Like, you know, you might they might not hit you with a strike until five years down the line. You probably done made two million. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure like if when you chopped up and cut it, if it didn't like register. Nah, inside they, of a... nah, they don't be really. Mm-mm. Yeah, they don't, they don't be tripping, tripping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word, though. So, yeah, I just think it's dope. The opportunity Jersey Clubs gives to songs that might not have tapped into other markets. You know what I'm saying? So that is the respect and appreciation I do have for the people that do it. Because I'm telling artists left and right here. Because you remember back in, um, I don't know the exact year, but early when Screw Music was popping in Houston. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah, like, yeah. every single album that came out had, like, a like a screw version of it because right. that was their sound. Right. That was the sound. Of chopped and screwed. Right? Chopped and screwed. Yeah. So I'm like, we in Jersey, everyone said we don't have a sound, if you want to call it. Like, Jersey right. Club is the closest Jersey thing. Jersey Club is the sound. Is the sound. There you go. Whether, so why are we not what, getting alternate versions of every whether album? Whether niggas want to accept it or not, that's the truth. Like, that's the closest. Mm-hmm. That's the closest. We don't have a sound in hip-hop. We know that. Mm-hmm. We don't have a sound necessarily in house you know we got like Ali Us or Elias I don't want to be saying the name wrong but they did uh, follow me they from Jersey 
We do, actually know we 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 had we had a sound in hip hop, but that was from the '90s and stuff like you know, Lords of the Underground, Lauryn Hill and stuff like that. Yeah, Naughty by Nature, and it's like Queen Latifah, Shag. You know, we had that sound, but that was that sound in general in the '90s and not the '80s. I mean, the '90s, yeah. So it still wasn't no necessarily sound there. Like, uh, you know how Atlanta has a distinctive sound, Houston, Memphis, like that down, or just down south in general. Mm-hmm. When you hear Philly music, you know what Philly music is. When you hear New York, New York music, you know what New York music is. When you hear Jersey shit, you think of Jersey Club. Facts. That's the closest. You know, the thing is, you know, I don't think a lot of people want to accept that because I get it, though. I understand. You know, we got a bunch of hard-ass rappers here, too. It's like, we ain't, we ain't trying to rap on no Jersey Club beat. We trying to rap on some street shit. But we can't figure out how to break that sound yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... But it's already right here. This is what it is. Well, that's why I try to talk to artists, and I haven't seen no one do it yet, but I'm like, just take your album, make a Jersey Club alternate edition the same well, way that they all got behind Chopped and Screwed. But check this out. You peep how me and Mike Zombie jumps on the club beat and we rap mm-hmm. and sing a hook. It's on the radio like a regular song. They treating that shit like Drake new song just yeah. came out. So why not? Why don't why don't the rest of y'all follow up and do it? And we just fuck it. We you don't have to accept it, but it's like if you want people to listen to what you doing and what you got going on, sometimes you just gotta give it the program. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You don't have to. Because like I said, do what you feel is right. Do what you want to do. But clearly we can see. Because like me, I'm going to give you a prime example. I'm one of them guys that's like, I, I love Jersey Club. I know that's, you know, one of the closest things to us having a sound here. But I love rapping. I love rapping on the hardcore shit, the 808s, the Atlanta type beats. I want niggas to know me for this. Mm-hmm. All right, but I got to fall back for a minute on that. Pete. I jump on the Jersey Cub beat. Right away, I'm on the radio. Yeah. All right, yeah, I got on the radio for regular rap shit, too. The shits I did with Fetty. I produced them beats, too. Shits I did with Fetty. But that's because Fetty was on it. I got on the radio with a song I did with my mans, but that's because I spent the bag on it. So Jersey Club. Jersey Club is the way, bro. Because you I'm feel it's because it's what makes it. the sound different. So rather than because battle like a thousand rappers like from across understand. the country, this is like a unique. These DJs want something else to play too. Mm-hmm. And they want us to just be ourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like when I went to Enough Birthday Bash the other day and I was talking to um, Cass One. Shout out to DJ Cass One. He cool as hell. I fuck with Cass One. And Enough and Wala. Like, even Wala. You know what I mean? Todd, like, they. They love what we do here when it comes to Jersey Club. So when they get them records, they be excited to play them. Because when they come here and they play them shits, they see how the club go up. They not necessarily really interested in playing what we do that they do mm-hmm. or what Atlanta do or whatever. They'll play it if it's super hot. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. If it's super hot, cuz, they going to play it. They got to be super hot. Exactly. It got to be smoking. Right. Yeah, facts. Like... When WAP did Trap Queen, that was just something you couldn't deny. But they spent that bag on it, though. They did. You know? So, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I just wish a lot, of, a lot, a lot more artists would just come, come, come step down with that with us, man. Or even if, even if it, what they can do, too, they, go, they, 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 they always fail to realize and forget. You can still do what you like and uh, understand it. Cause I had to remember this. I was like, I'm still able to rap. I'm still rapping, but you could always blend what you're trying to do with Jersey Club. You could always put a Jersey Club be in somewhere, whether it's a hip hop joint or like imagine like a Sue Surf if he rapping on some shit and that shit break down to a club. Be uh, he talking his shit like, but it's some hard dark drill t- or whatever. Just you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah. what he does, yo. I know you don't want to do it, but it's just like, yo, it would go fucking stupid and nuts. Word. And you got to think about what Jersey Club is doing right now, and we haven't even been outside in like a year. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even been outside in a year. Like, this is not really, at least to me, like, it's not inside music. Like, right. for me, personally. Right, you know? right, like, right. 
But like so you said, outside, outside the club. Yeah, like a song like, like right Tour. now, yeah. I would be booked all over right now. I would be in fucking who knows somewhere right now. I would be in L.A. everywhere right now. That's the shit that kills me. And it's like, damn. But yeah, I definitely would like to start seeing that more, man. Just, you know, more artists just giving it a try. Because it's like, we're going to spend a lot of time on, on this stuff trying to break through and, you know what I mean, get accepted in this industry. Uh, but, you know, to each his own, man. I can't tell everybody to do that. Because you got, like, a lot of the guys here, once again, that rap, they just super street. So it's like, they can't take that route. Like, yeah. really, you know what I mean? So I understand that, too. It's like... You know what I mean? How you respect them? They not dancing and shit. Like, you had, like, a pop smoke who did drill, but they had a dance. He danced. His shit was, if you think about it, that shit was street as hell. Hell yeah. But he found a way to make it to fun, though. It was fun. It was dance. He was dancing. You heard what he said. You know what I'm saying? Don't, just because I dance, don't think I won't pull up with the stick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So but is there got, like a certain requirement for a song to be flipped into a Jersey Club song? Can you take any song? Any song. Flip it? You can take any Me, song. Me, I could take any so song. So then you can have that person who refuses to make anything but a hard gangster song and they can just pass the song to someone to flip yeah. it to a Jersey Club. So it's the beginning of 2021, February. So what is lined up for DJ J Hood? Um, well, I definitely, um, I got a little club tape. I was supposed to be releasing on Valentine's Day. I got like a bunch of... Uh, Artists who came to me, you know, they got them some remix deals. I'm throwing them on the tape, and I'm going to release that. And then after that, it's just strictly me. I'm focusing on me, and I'm going to just go hard. I'm going to go all in. So I got a couple days to get these remixes finished. So I got a lot of work to do. Or when they hear the song with you and John Mez, too? Yeah, that shit hard. That shit crazy. Yeah, that shit definitely <laughs> dope. So they're going to they gonna, they gonna be on, like I said... They, that's one thing. Another thing, I'm always all over. I'm doing this shit with this person, that person, that person. My name is always in the air. So, you know, I'm always working, man. I'm always working nonstop. Always. Like, I got a lot of work to do, bro. Or so what should, right now, what should they go listen to? What should, where should they go find you? Here's your chance to. Uh, they definitely need to go listen to um, Heartbroken 2020. You know what I mean? That's Heartbroken. Uh, H e a r t b r o k e n space twenty, not twenty like the numbers, but spell it out. T w e n t y. Oh wait, T w e n t y. Yeah, yeah. yeah. twenty twenty. <laughs> also on Hot ninety seven, they could catch that. Yeah, y'all could catch that on Hot ninety seven. Uh, y'all could catch it on. It's it's everywhere, man. But um, y'all can follow me on Instagram at DJ J Hood. That's uh, you know, right here at the bottom of the screen at DJ J A Y H O O D, Twitter, um, DJ J Hood 973. <laughs> um, that's pretty much what I'll be on. That's about it. Um, you have a final message for the people? Yeah, I want y'all to hear my cousin spit some shit. Oh, word. You gonna, go ahead. You just gonna do some acapella. You gonna have to do acapella though. That's cool. Uh huh. I told him. We are not the same, I'm a nuisance. He still will be alive if you ain't juice him. The way they knocked him off was pretty gruesome. You can never fit in my shoes if you ain't lose nothing. 30 got me too bussin'. If it's up, then it's stuck, that's what they saying now. He tried to up, then he got bucked, and now he laying down. We was up, then we got cuffed, I'm in the county now. They tried to give me 60 months because I hung around the same niggas. They said they loyal to that pressure, make them change, nigga. Got you telling on your homies and your main niggas. That's a shame, nigga. You'd rather be free while the prosecution hang niggas, chain niggas, throw them in the cage. 23 and 1 feel like I'm living in the grave. Every year I'm losing age, but every year I build the page inside my story, nothing but guts and glory. All these niggas' stories bore me and they ain't important. You say my name up in flames and I get down to business. I had a lot of bitches burned over a thousand bridges. I know the clock is ticking, life keep putting mileage on me. My Baby mama scarf for life, that's why she wildin' on me. You hate when I act like you don't exist. Time is money, being around me is a gift. Lucky if you hit the spliff, I never fold, I never snitch. I've been traumatized for years, but always took it on the chin. The pain leaking when I grin. Lost my grandmother, she was my protector and my friend. And all our memories is just blowing in the wind. It's hard not to be corrupted in this life of sin. These new niggas living life off everything that trends. I'm tired of taking losses, all I want to do is win. I thought I had it hustling, only got me in the pen. Too many mixed emotions, so I vibe without a pen. She all up in her feelings from the messages I sent. Question me about my money, why you checking what I spent? But you ain't never worried about the money that I spent. Trials and tribulations, that's just something you don't get. Problems seem late and every week I'm getting pissed. How you broke 
fucking trying to argue, man, that shit will never mix. I'm too focused on this paper, I'ma be forever rich. I'm worried about my mental, I ain't worried about a bitch. So think about them times I could've died in the bricks. Y'all already know, man, it's JP. Feel me straight from Newark, New Jersey. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at JAYP973. Again, that's JAYP973. Jersey in the building, man. Playing, man. <laughs> Go follow my man. <laughs> You're saying this is the Garden State Hip Hop Hour. You know what it is? DJ J Hood, JP. It's Rich. I only gave y'all some bars, but not today. <laughs> Wave change, <laughs> like. <laughs> not my boy Rich. Though. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Jersey. Yo, yo, yo! It's your boy DJ J Hood. You now tapped into the Garden State Hip Hop Hour, man. Listen, I just went up on that interview with my guys, Rich. It's lit. Make sure y'all click here on the side right here. Check out all the other interviews too, man. Jersey's very young.